Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, or should I say welcome to the channel, because there's about 200 more of you at the time of recording this than there were when I woke up this morning. So we'll get to that in just a minute. It is currently Wednesday, July 3rd. I had a day off today. I took care of some stuff around the house, didn't really work on a lot of eBay stuff. Uh, but now I'm recording this video uh, to one, go over... 53 things that I sold on eBay as well as a handful of things that I bought this weekend at yard sales uh, to put right back on there I would have some yard sale footage, but unfortunately my backpack clip uh, A piece broke on it, so it won't hold my GoPro So we're currently out of commission for that right now But hopefully uh, my new one comes and we'll be able to get some yard sale footage from this weekend if not um, Expect another desk video. It's been a while since we've done some desks videos, but here we are so um, this video is going to be in three parts. Part one is housekeeping, which is where we're currently at right now. Uh, part two is going to be uh, the 53 items that I sold on eBay since the last sold video that I did a few weeks ago. And then part three is going to be going over uh, the new stuff that I bought. So currently for housekeeping, uh, a lot of you just came from John, the Cincinnati Pickers uh, YouTube channel, and for that I am very, very grateful. Um, thanks for clicking subscribe and checking out the channel. I hope uh, I give you a reason to stick around. Uh, John, again, thank you so much. You've uh, you've helped me out by with the GoPro and now with the shout out. And for that, again, very grateful. Thank you so much. Um, just a quick for people that don't know who I am. My name is Lucas. I am a reseller, and uh, I go to yard sales, garage sales, estate sales, auctions, Facebook stuff like that, and then I uh, buy things and I put them on the internet and sell them for more money than I paid for it. So um, the ONL in ONL Flips stands for One Named Lucas. Um, that's what I've gone by on the internet for the longest time, but One Named Lucas Flips is just a little too much of a mouthful, so I figured ONL Flips would work out just fine. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much all there is to it. That's who I am. Feel free to check out some of the other videos for the people that uh, just showed up. Um, again, very grateful for you all clicking subscribe, and hopefully you don't click unsubscribe after one video and you stick around and uh, I give you something worth watching. So let's just uh, jump into part two now and go over 53 things that I sold on eBay. All right, if I am looking down, I am looking at my phone so I can see what best offers I took and stuff like that because some of this sold back early in June, so I'm not sure. So anyway, first up, we have Animal Crossing Wild World for the Nintendo uh, DS. This was part of that big video game lot, um, which you'll see more games from that, um, and I did a video on it a few videos back. But it sold, I took a best offer of $17.94 with free shipping. Final Fantasy VII. Um, also out of that video game lot, sold for full asking price of $24.94. It is the green label, and it does have its book, and this is a weird one that has three discs. Most of the time when they're in that dual thing like that, they have two or four, uh, but Final Fantasy VII has three discs, so, uh, don't freak out and think that you're missing one. I sold this bottle of Proactive, uh... Poor targeting treatment. Um, it is expired, but that doesn't matter. It sold for um, it's, I, this one sold for eighteen dollars and ninety four cents. The fifteen ninety four will uh, show back up later. Sold this pair of Merrells um, Continuum shoes. I regretted buying these because, as you can see, the toes on these, like the grips, are in rough shape, as well as near the uh, toe area. There's like holes in there but uh they sold for uh, i put them on sale and they sold for full asking price of 25 dollars and 45 cents plus shipping so don't be afraid to pick up merrells morels um even if they're pretty worn so this gamecube memory card from that video game lot for 9.94 with free shipping it only costs like i think 250 to ship or something like that Sold this copy of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 out of that video game lot. I took a best offer of $5 on it. Um, I knew this one wouldn't sell very good, very well, um, but I figured I'd list it anyway, why not? And even with free shipping, I still made uh, a couple dollars on it. Uh, this is kind of a bolo. Um, speed stack cups with the mat, and it's got a little timer with it. I paid a dollar for this at a yard sale, and it sold for $29.94 plus shipping. Um, it was funny, my dad kind of gave me, I was with my dad when I bought these, and he kind of gave me a weird look that I, that I bought them, and, uh, the next, I think two weeks later, I was yard selling with him again up here in Indianapolis, and while we were yard selling, I got the notification that he, that these sold, and he couldn't believe it, so, take that one, dad. 
Uh, out of the video game lot, this was my highest selling game. It's a complete inbox copy of Metroid Zero Mission for the Game Boy Advance. Um, it's in really good shape. This box only has some tiny corner wear on it, nothing too crazy, but it sold for full asking price of $99.94, uh, plus shipping on that one. And what I did with uh, any of the games out of that lot that sold for more than $50, um, I charged them first class, but I put it in a um, small flat rate box, so it cost me $7.30 to ship or something like that. Um, but after... If I would have charged free shipping on it, I would have paid that $3.50 difference. Plus, I get $50 insurance. Plus, it's just a little bit safer inside of a box rather than just getting tucked into a uh, poly mailer. Though, I had no problems with any of the uh, box games going in poly mailers. So, this Star Wars thermos, it is from 1977. Not the best picture there of the label, but I paid $5 for this at a sale, and it sold for uh, $29.94 plus shipping. Uh, sold the Super Nintendo uh, for $27.94 plus shipping. Um, this one was kind of weird. Normally there's a better plug back here, but as you can see, it's kind of like missing the plug part. It does work, but if you move that console like a millimeter while it's turned on, the power most likely goes out. But it sold for $27.94 uh, plus shipping. Man, I remember when I bought this Dusty sweater, I thought I hit a gold mine i originally listed i think for 40 or 50 dollars but unfortunately i took a best offer of 15 dollars on it plus shipping and it was heavy uh so it went priority and i didn't make near as much on it as i thought i would there was a small small tiny stain on the back collar but i don't know just uh wasn't my wasn't my sweater i guess sold this beginner's bible um from 1989 for $9.94 plus shipping. It did go media mail. It did have some giant stickers on the back. But I paid 50 cents for this. I didn't think it would sell, but here we are. Again, from the video game lot, I sold this copy of Tetris DS for the Nintendo DS for $19.94 with free shipping. Sold this copy of Mario Kart DS for the Nintendo DS for $9.94 with free shipping. I thought Mario Kart DS was worth a lot more, but it's Mario Kart 7 for the Nintendo DS that's worth or the 3DS that's worth quite a bit. I sold this uh, Mitsubishi VCR. I paid $15 for it at a yard sale. Um, I, I figured that 15 was okay for it because I would have paid $10 for it at a Goodwill and it came with the remote, so 15 seemed right. Um, I thought I would get like 40 to 50 for it, but I got $29.94 plus shipping and I hate myself. I didn't notice until I printed off the label that the guy that bought this lives like maybe a mile down the road from me and I could have just delivered it to him and saved me about $13 in shipping. <laughs> but I guess I would have refunded him shipping, so it didn't really matter, but uh, I would have saved the supplies, I guess, I don't know. But yeah, he lives like two miles down the road, a mile to two miles down the road from me. So this copy of Monster Hunter World in about 20 hours um, for $14.94 with free shipping, I paid $4 for this. I paid up for it, but I knew it would be a quick sell. I knew that it would be easy to list and easy to ship and that's worth like $10 in profit to me. Sold this bottle of Proactive poor targeting treatment for $17 uh, with free shipping. And we'll come back to that again later. Sold this Polaroid 600 film. I took a, no, I didn't take a best offer. It sold for full asking price of $13.94 with shipping. This one uh, expired in 2007. I just take a picture of random numbers and not the expiration date. That's exactly what I did. Um, it's crazy, though. I sold, before this, a packet of Polaroid film that was older than I was, and it it sold for $10, like, pretty much instantly. But So Polaroid film, keep an eye out. Sold this copy of Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages for the uh, Game Boy. I took a best offer of $20 for it. Um, the guy that bought this lives in the town that I work in, and I tried to arrange a local pickup, but he wanted me to ship it to him. So, took the couple bucks there, but no big deal. Uh, he's got a game store. I'm 99% sure he's got a game store, so I, I don't know how much more he's going to get out of it, but to each their own. So these uh, Phineas and Agent P, Phineas and Ferb, I don't know, Perry the Platypus. Uh, I took a best offer of $9.94 for these with free shipping. I paid $20 for a big lot of Disney Xfinity figures, and I would not do that again. 
I sold this masterpiece, the Art Auction board game, for $23. I took a best offer of $23 for it, plus shipping. I paid a dollar for it at a yard sale. This is a really neat board game. I've sold it for more in the past, but I think the price has kind of come down on it a little bit. And it is 100% complete. Even if it's like 98% complete, it still sells pretty well. Um, so always keep an eye out for this one. Sold this uh, Lone Ranger playset. I took a best offer of $8.50 on this one. It comes with the uh, like crystal, actual game piece, and then the two figures. I don't know. I don't know how any of this stuff works. Uh, definitely, definitely not for me. <laughs> but it's over $8.50 with free shipping. So this copy of Biggest Loser Ultimate Workout for the uh, Xbox 360. It's brand new sealed, um, and it sold for $3.50 plus shipping. This was a really, really good sale. Um, these are some Nike uh, 2006 wrestling shoes. They're in really, really good condition. I paid a dollar for them at a yard sale, and once I put them on sale, I had them at $69.94, and when I put them on sale, uh, they sold pretty quickly for uh, $59.45 plus shipping. And these just got tucked into a uh, poly mailer wrapped in bubble wrap, so not too hard to pack up either. This came from that video game lot. It's a GameCube memory card for the game Animal, I mean, it works for any game, but it came with the copy of Animal Crossing uh, for the GameCube. And uh, mine was pretty worn, but I still managed to get $14.94 for it uh, with free shipping. I was going to give this another week, and then I was going to pull it and keep it for myself. But uh, it sold right as soon as I thought, you know, maybe I'll just keep that. Because I have Animal Crossing, so I have a pretty... Me and my fiance have a pretty big game collection, so... WarioWare Touched sold for $17.94 with free shipping. Uh, picked up this Guitar Hero guitar for $6 at a yard sale back in maybe April, May, something like that. I don't know. Uh, just one day, finally got an offer on it for $39.94. Uh, always be on the lookout for these Explorer guitars. The models on, or the model number is 95065. The other one is 95055, I believe. Um, those are two really good models. And then make sure, uh, keep an eye out that they have these USB cords. That might be behind my head, I don't know. Or the USB adapter on them. Uh, there's this game called Clone Hero that you can download for free, and you can plug in these guitars and basically play Guitar Hero to custom-made tracks by a whole bunch of people. If you name a song, it's probably got a custom track. So that's why these sells. But you have to make sure the buttons press really nicely and the whammy bar is uh, nice and stiff and not like crazy loose, um, because people do worry about that. Stickers and like body condition, people don't care about, but... Uh, yeah, even if they don't have the USB dongle, uh, they do sell pretty well. So always keep an eye out for this model of guitar. So this Harley Davidson t-shirt uh, from Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Got this really nice hillbilly graphic on the back of it. Um, it sold for $14.94 with free shipping, and I think I only paid $0.75 cents for this shirt. I think I bought two of them for $3. No, $1.50 for this shirt. I think I bought two of them. No? I don't remember. I'm in... For this shirt, somewhere between seventy-five cents and a dollar fifty, I think. So, uh, but fourteen dollars and ninety-four cents with free shipping is a is a pretty good sale, if you ask me. So this Panasonic portable CD player, uh, really good condition, tested it worked, uh, had a little bit of corrosion, I think, but uh, it still worked fine. And I took a best offer of thirteen dollars for this, and I paid fifty cents. This was a big one. I'm really happy with this. I got this for free at a yard sale. You can check out the video uh, a little ways back um, before I had like my backpack camera and I was still carrying the GoPro. This thing was in great shape. It powered on, um, very clean. Um, I, I didn't have a way to fully test it. Um, I was nervous packing this up. I put this in so much bubble wrap. Uh, it, it probably cost me like $10 in packing supplies. Just kidding, that's an exaggeration. But uh, it I listed it once for $99.99 auction style, and then I relisted it for $89.99, and I got a bid. Uh, the guy, I listed it priority shipping, so the guy paid $89.99 for it. It went all the way to California. I'm from Indianapolis, and he paid another, like, $75 to ship it. That's why I was incredibly nervous. Um, but he's got it. He, I haven't heard from him. He hasn't left feedback yet, but I think I'm in the clear on it. Um... So, yeah, if something would have happened to it, I would have just told him, like, hey, don't worry about it. I'm not 
just keep it. I'm not going to pay shipping on something I got for free, especially if it's going to cost him like 75 bucks to ship it back to me. I'm not going to pay the return shipping on that. So, um, yeah, but really happy with that sale. Something I got for free. I just saw it sitting. I got it at like 12:30 too. That's what's crazy. I always find my best best finds are after noon. Sold this copy of Super Mario Bros. Deluxe for nine dollars with free shipping. Again, out of that giant video game lot. And here's the other uh, Guitar Hero guitar I was talking about. This one does not have that USB dongle, um, but it does come with a strap. And I took a best offer of thirty-four dollars and ninety-four cents plus shipping on this one. Kind of a neat Disney Xfinity figure. This is like a variation model where he's crystal clear. I don't don't understand it but i took a best offer of twelve dollars and 94 cents on this one and for all the xfinity figures i have i've still got quite a few in one of those boxes behind me um i paid twenty dollars for all of it so um i think after this sale i was in the green because i also i for some reason the tab didn't come up but i sold one of jack skellington from nightmare before christmas and it sold for nine dollars and 94 cents plus shipping so i was in the green at this point awesome sale right here this omron fat loss monitor the model number is hbf-306c tested works in really really good shape uh, battery compartments corrosion free uh, i paid i think it came out to three dollars because i bought a whole bunch of stuff at this sale and i think i averaged it out to three dollars and it sold in less than 14 hours for um 49 dollars and 94 cents with free shipping this sale right here is is bittersweet because it's the last of my proactive, and I knocked the price down to fifteen dollars and ninety four cents, and it sold the next day, um, and I officially sold out of proactive. I had twelve bottles of proactive, two of them were big, and the rest of them were like these tiny bottles of two different things, and I paid ten dollars for all of them, and I think whenever I added it up, I sold all the proactive for two hundred and forty one dollars and change. So really, really good buy on that proactive stuff. Keep an eye out for it. Even if it's expired, like, don't worry about it. If it's expired, people will still pay uh, good money for it. So this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle shirt for $7.46 with free shipping. I paid 50 cents for this at a Salvation Army. Uh, so not the biggest profit, but it's one of those small sales that will help pay the bill. A couple more Disney Xfinity figures. I sold these uh, from Pirates of the Caribbean for eight dollars. I only have one of the cards. I don't know if the cards do anything. I don't. I don't know how this stuff works. But I paid. Or I sold it for eight dollars uh, with free shipping. Sold this uh, Nintendo Nintendo Game Boy Color carrying case. Uh, it's got the tray in it. Did I not? I guess I didn't take a picture of the tray that was inside. Yeah, I did. There is just not a great picture. Um, I paid a dollar for this, I think, at a yard sale, and it sold for $12.94 plus shipping. Paid 50 cents for this Logitech uh, EA Electronic Arts microphone that goes to one of the video games uh, at a Goodwill. Uh, so I wasn't into it a lot, but uh, it finally sold for $9.94 with free shipping. Finally sold this Pittsburgh Penguin shirt. <laughs> Man, I was waiting for this to sell. I figured right at the end of hockey season it would sell. Um, I bought this way back in October. This was part of my original uh, thrifting clothing haul, uh, as you can tell by the old photo. But I took a best offer of $8 just to get it out of here. <laughs> a pretty good sale on this one. Uh, it's 11 Disney Xfinity figures, all pertaining to the Avengers. I meant to throw, uh, I wanted to throw Endgame in the title, uh, but ran out of characters. Um, but this one, uh, I took a best offer of $24.94 on it. I knew 40 was definitely like a stretch, but I was hoping somebody would hit me at that $30 range, but I got the $24.94 and said, you know what? I'm already in the green. Let's get rid of it while I have a chance to get rid of it because I would not buy Disney Xfinity figures again. Picked this up two weeks ago at a yard sale for $3. It's a ultra sensor bar for the Nintendo Wii and it sold at less than a day for full asking price of $24.94. How I shipped this is I just took two uh, padded envelopes that fit uh, a video game in it perfectly and I just like sandwiched it in there and uh, it went on its way. Uh, so $24.94 with free shipping on that one. 
So this Caribbean Joe uh, silk button-up shirt, I took a best offer of $10 on this one just to get it out of here. As you can tell, it's one of the older photos before I had my uh, towels and backdrop to help clean things up. So a lot of these old clothes, I'm just happy to get out of here. Got this information from Primetime Treasure Hunter here on YouTube. Um, so I paid $2 for this whole stack of Diary of the Wimpy, Diary of a Wimpy Kid books. They're all hardback. Um, and I got an offer of $17 plus uh, free shipping, and I took it. I thought shipping was going to be a little less because they would go media mail, but it ended up weighing about five pounds, so it came in that like $5 range. So the profit wasn't as good as I thought it was, but I would definitely, definitely pick up books again if I can get another uh, decent lot of them. Definitely wouldn't try and sell one at a time. Sold this World of Zoo game for the Nintendo Wii uh, for $4.94 with free shipping. I paid a quarter for this last week at a yard sale. So, again, one of those small sales that'll help pay the bills. At the same sale, I got this copy of Sims 2 Castaway for a quarter, and I sold it for $9 with free shipping. Uh, again, one of those 50 cent t shirts that I got at Salvation Army. Um, took a best offer of $7 for this one, was just happy to get it out of here. I'm trying to just move clothes. I just wanted to go. I'm going to take a second to talk about this one. I picked this one up over the weekend, so it sold really, really fast. Um, it's a Dr. Seuss book called The Seven Lady Godivas, and as you can tell, uh, those are some naked ladies, uh, and it's a Dr. Seuss book. There were some small like stains on it, but this is oh, sideways picture. Way to go me. But this is a first edition printing of uh, the reprint, so it's from 1987. The original book came out in like the 1930s, and apparently a lot of people wanted it uh, re-released. I was going to make a whole video just on this book, but I already packed it up and shut it off, uh, sent it off and forgot to make that video. But this was just something really cool. I didn't look it up. I just, I was like, Dr. Seuss and Naked Ladies is a weird combination. I bet this is worth some money. I meant to list it at $19.94, but I was trying to rush and get it listed before my free listings ran out for the month of June, uh, and I just kind of got in the moment and listed it for $14.94, but it sold really, really fast, and I'm still pretty pleased with that. Sold this Coors uh, Banquet Beer hat. It's from 2008. I thought it looked really cool. Um, I was hoping to get more in like the $10 to $15 range, but I took a best offer of $8 because I hadn't got an offer on it. And I finally did, and I said, you know what, sure. So this copy of Parlor Games for the Sega Master System. Um, I think this was a, a game that I got from my dad out of a giant lot of stuff. Uh, it's been listed on eBay for a couple months now, but I got an offer of $9 with free shipping, and I took it. And I had nothing into it, so that's all pure profit. Sold this copy of Wii Sports for the Nintendo Wii disc only. I paid 50 cents for this over uh, this weekend, so this was a fairly new buy. Uh, the same guy that bought that Oracle of Ages that lives in the same town that I work at bought this as well. Um, but obviously I'm not going to reach out and ask him if he wants, uh, wants to do a local pickup because he's just going to tell me no. Sold these Nike uh, running shoes, size 12. The number on them is 653596. I paid $2 for these at a yard sale, and I got full... No, I took a best offer of $19.94 plus shipping on these. Uh, they were in pretty good shape. Um, a little bit of wear, but nothing too crazy. And then last but not least, I got this over the weekend for a quarter. Uh, Super Monkey Ball uh, Banana Blitz for the Nintendo Wii, complete in its case. And I got full asking price of $5.94 with free shipping on that. So, that is the most recent 53 items that I sold on eBay. Now let's take a look at some stuff that I got to put right back on there over the weekend, including what you see in the thumbnail. So let's not waste any time and let's talk about these Buzz Lightyear action figures. So I love Toy Story. It's my favorite. Toy Story 1 is my favorite movie of all time. I grew up watching Toy Story. I've seen all three of them, including the fourth one that just came out. And it's really hard for me not to keep one of these. Um, but I got this one. This one's Laser Blast and Buzz. They all... It's supposed to hold on to that. They all work. I don't have any batteries in them right now because I don't ship things with batteries in them. Um, but they all work. They're all in pretty good condition. They have some scuffs, like, on the helmet and stuff like that. Um, 
but yeah, so this one's Laser Blast and Buzz. I think I have list him listed for 20 bucks. 20 All right, fine. You don't want to hold the gun, Buzz. You are a toy. Um, I've got this one that's called Search and Rescue Buzz. He's got a backpack and a little, like, uh, polyester bag in here. He's supposed to have one of the tiny three-eyed aliens. Um, and if he was new in his box, he'd be worth about 100 to $125. Um, I've got them listed for $39.94. There's this other one that's just kind of a different cool colorway. He's like blue, uh, silver, and purple. His knees are a little loose. Again, does work. Has his whole wings that pop out and whatnot. Um, I think I've got him listed for $29.94. And then the coolest one of the bunch. Oh, man. This is a Thinkway uh, clear version. Uh, Thinkway is the same people that made like the 4th of July like patriotic uh, red, white, and blue one. And this thing is just so cool. Let me cut away to a video of him uh, actually working because I don't have any batteries in him right now. Is that not super sweet? This is amazing. This is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Uh, this guy sells anywhere from $34 or $35 to $75. I listed him right in the middle at $50. I had an offer today for $40 that I probably should have took, but I got greedy and asked for $45 and he declined it. But I'm not worried about it because this thing is super cool and I'm just going to hold on to him as long as I can. So that's all the Buzz Light Years. I paid $5 a piece for those at a... Uh, yard sale and as i was checking out uh the dad of the wife who i was i was dealing with the wife and the dad's like to infinity and beyond and uh, the wife goes right to a resale store and i was like nah these are probably gonna go on my shelf clearly a lie but uh man if i don't want them on my shelf i bought a bunch of hats uh this weekend i got this really cool trucker style uh usa hat i think this one will sell really well it's snapback um and it's got the the cord along the edge. The brand on it is Moore's, M-O-H-R apostrophe S. I don't know, but I figured with uh, election season starting to pick up and stuff like that, this would be a really good seller. The bill is a little uh, kind of bent on it, but I think it'll do all right. And then I got these two uh, Kendall racing hats. I wasn't sure about these, but the guy said hats were three for a dollar. So I knew I wanted the USA hat. And I was like, you know what? Sure, we'll just grab these two. I believe the signature on it um, is Kyle Petty. I think so some racing hats i know nascar stuff doesn't do super well but i'll probably lot these together then at another sale i got three hats for a dollar a piece i should have bought more hats from this sale uh, but i only grabbed these because they were all new with tags they're uh cooperstown collection mlb hats um seven and three fourths size uh they're this one's a chicago they're they're both chicago cubs hats um the really old logos and stuff like that uh there's a price sticker on one of them, I believe. And these retail brand new for $30, so I'm probably going to ask like 20 to 25 for them. And then I got this other Adidas hat. Nothing too crazy. It's got a price tag of $20 on it. I bought it because it was new with tags. Um, it does fit me, so I thought about holding on to it and uh, using it like for whatever, just because I like a bunch of hats. So I think I'll do pretty good on those. But they had more of the Cooperstown collection hats for other teams. Uh, but they weren't new with tags, and I should have bought them anyway. I should have just bought the whole box of hats and been in the hat business. At another sale later in, a, in the day, I got this um, New York Yankees hat. The cool thing about it is on the back, it's got the inaugural season patch uh, for the 2009 season, whenever the new Yankee Stadium opened. I don't know if I can sell this one new with tags, because um, it's missing its new era stickers up here. But it still does have the price tag under it, and it did sell for uh, $35.99. And I think I can probably get $20 for this. I am a Yankees fan, and I thought about keeping this for myself, but unfortunately, it's just a little on the big side. At an estate sale, I got this Magic Jack, brand new in the package, uh, for $3. I was hoping it would only be a dollar, because there wasn't a price tag on it, but what are you going to do? I did actually sell this for full asking price of $19.94. Uh, but the dude canceled on me because it's he wanted the newer model and not the older model. But it just turned around and got relisted. And I'm still pretty confident that it'll sell. 
I picked up this Maxell uh, VHSC cassette adapter at a yard sale for 50 cents, and I think I've got it listed right now for $24.94. And what it is is you take your little cassettes from your like camcorders, you pop them into this big VHS, and then you pop this into the VCR, and it plays your tiny tapes. So, um, yeah, really good find right here. So keep a lookout for these. Then I got a stack of video games. I got Splatoon for the Wii U. I paid $4 for this. I paid up for it. It was the same sale that I got the buzzes at, and I was so excited about the buzz, I didn't care. Um, I could probably get the, like $12 to $15 for this, um, so I'm not too worried about it. Again, one of those pay-the-bills type of sales. And then every other game in this stack, I paid $0.50 cents for. You already saw uh, Monkey Ball Banana Blitz, Fallout 3 for the Xbox 360, Prince of Persia Warrior Within for the regular Xbox, uh, Lost Planet Extreme Conditions for the Xbox 360. Probably shouldn't have bought this one, but for 50 cents, I could not complain. New Super Mario Bros. Wii, Medal of Honor Vanguard, and uh, Mario Power Tennis All for the Nintendo Wii All for 50 cents. So, uh, I always like video games that are less than a dollar, and it's hard for me to say no to them. I don't remember if I bought this last weekend or if I bought this this weekend, but this is... Uh, a cookbook called Cooking with Mickey Around the World, and it's a bunch of recipes from Walt Disney World and Disneyland. I thought about uh, keeping this because me and my fiance we like to cook together and stuff like that. And uh, we're going to Disney or Disney World for our honeymoon next year. And uh, figured this would be really. But there's some really interesting recipes in here. The thing that I think is craziest about this thing is there are uh, liquor beverages, uh, mixed drinks in here and stuff like that. So. Really cool find. I paid 50 cents for it on a whim. Uh, didn't look it up or anything like that, but uh, it looks like it sells pretty consistently for about $10. So hopefully this sells any day now. So after the success of the uh, Omron fat loss monitor, I saw this pedometer that had Omron on it and uh, took a stab on it. I paid $4 for it. It's got its booklet and its back and everything. I gotta buy a battery to test it out. Um, and at the same sale, I paid $4 for both this uh, Texas Instrument math to go I'm having trouble getting this to work so that's probably a lost cause and I just had a hunch about this it's a Timex uh, stopwatch um, it works it runs uh, really well the thing is is I can't find anything about it because every time I search Timex stopwatch I get like the wristwatches and the modern ones so um, I don't know I just had a, a weird hunch about it and decided to go ahead and grab it will the pedometer probably end up paying for both of these things that I shouldn't have bought <laughs> probably but uh you gotta you gotta try sometimes you just gotta you gotta throw stuff at the wall and see what sticks speaking of omron i went to a sale on sunday um she had made a post on the facebook or one of the facebook pages that i follow that everything at her sale was a dollar or less and i saw omron on the bag and decided to go ahead and go for it it is a uh nebulizer i don't know what that is i don't know anything about it the model number on it is NE-C30. Actually, I might not be able to sell this now that I'm looking at it. Federal USA law restricts this device to sale by or on the order of a physician or licensed healthcare practitioner. Well, let's just see if there's any on eBay because I haven't actually looked this up yet. Well, it looks like one sold pre-owned for $25 on June 23rd, but there's not that many of them on here. So I have a feeling I should probably just part this out and or just not do it. I only paid a dollar for it, so I'm not too worried about it. But let me know what you guys think about this. Have you guys ever heard of this or like, what do you guys think that that phrase means? Should I stay away from this with a 10 foot pole? Kind of like, um, what are they called? CPAP machines or something like that? Like I said, I grabbed it, took a quick peek at it, saw the model number, and was like, alright, so I got something to go by. That's why I bought it. But anyway, let me guys know, would you guys mess with this or not? And then kind of the last big thing that I bought... Wait a minute. I should probably not do it that way. But man, if it wasn't a cool little angle. Um, I paid $35 for this. 
kind of on a, a hunch. Uh, it's got a TI-83 Plus calculator in it, so I know I can at least get like 20 to $25 of it back. But it also comes with this Texas Instruments CBL system. It comes with this Texas Instruments CBR, and this is a motion detector or sound detector, one of the two, I can't remember. Um, I gotta open it up and check the batteries in this. Um, and then this thing, and I can't figure out what this thing is. This is for a TI-84, and you slide your TI-84 in it. Um, and then it's got all these ports on the side. Um, cradle release, maybe I, that probably lets you slide your thing back out. I don't know. I can't find this. I can't figure out what to call this piece. And then it comes with all its wires and cables and stuff like that. Um, this is going on my shelf of to mess with another day. Uh, along with that connects roller coaster and a bunch of Lego sets, um, which we'll get to Lego sets in just a few moments. Um, so yeah, plus it's got this really nice um, hard like diamond case I want to call it, and it's got all the fancy foam inserts. I know you're kind of having um, trouble seeing, but it, it's got like you can take the slivers of foam out and like kind of adjust it to whatever you want. But um, yeah, so if you guys know anything about this, please let me know in the comments below. I took a hunch on it. I knew the calculator was good, so I figured maybe everything else was good. Um, I've looked some of it up, and it kind of seems to be a little all over the place. Um, should I sell it together, or should I part it out? Should I try and sell it locally? This case is probably worth some good money. Then, uh, last but not least, I bought two Lego sets. I paid $10 a piece. This one is Pose X-Wing. And I opened it up, and I peeked inside... And notice that they're all still in their plastic baggies, except for one bag. One bag is in a Ziploc bag, so I cannot sell it brand new, which is fine. So I took the hunch off of this one, and I didn't look them up or anything. And she said that she had some Lego sets, so I figured, you know, they're probably taken care of. She just bought this one and maybe didn't like it or bought it for her kid or something and they didn't like it or whatever. And there was also this one, um, a Lego Creator Blue Power Jet. It's three in one. You can make like a helicopter or a boat out of it too. And I didn't look in this one because she said this one was the same way. So I pull out a bag and notice it's, when I got home and I noticed it's red and orange. This is blue white. And that one's labeled number three. Hmm. Maroon. Here's some t tires. Bag number two is blue and yellow. So uh, my guess is all her unused bags got tucked into this box. And I'm kind of upset about it because I paid $10 for this one as well. Um, so for now, those are on my shelf of things to mess with another day. Um, I still think I'll do really well. The Pose X-Wing will pay for everything. That's probably worth like 40 bucks. Um, and then I think I can part out, or not part out, just sell the sealed bags together and just be like sealed lot instead of like miscellaneous pieces. And then I think I'm going to try and sell the box. The manual for this set is in here. I think I'm going to try and sell the box and manual together for that set and try and get like $10 for it or something like that. I don't know. So I paid $20 for all the Legos. I also got... Um, another bag filled with uh, Lego pieces that, that are kind of just miscellaneous that I can sell by weight. Uh, she had it listed at $2, but I got her to throw it in uh, for the $20 on those. So yeah, I, this video is running long, so I think I'm going to stop there for today. So we sold a lot of stuff and we got a lot of stuff to put right back on there. Um, I just got to sit down and actually put that on there because I'm a little behind on my listing. Everything on this shelf, almost everything on this se section is unlisted. All the shoes are listed. A lot of the stuff on this shelf up here is not listed either. Plus, everything on the floor behind me that you can't see is not listed. So, anywho, again, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing if you're coming from uh, John's channel and this is your first new video. I greatly appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click the like button down below and let me know. And again, comment and let me know uh, about some of the stuff that you found this weekend or uh, how you would handle that Omron thing or the uh, TI-83 calculator bundle thing. Because I'm genuinely curious. I don't really know what to do about it. So... 
Again, thank you so, for mu so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.